Yeah, so I started training in 2001. Had my first match in 2003. I thought I was done forever in 2014. Tore my shoulder up really bad and took two years away from, you know, something that I've loved since I was a kid. And then came back in December of 2016, had my first match back, and got into a feud with the guy who was in the ring when I got hurt and thought I had to give away everything. And now I've got to, to, to get past Damien Rivers, I have to go to a place that I told myself and I told my friends, I told my family and I told my kids that I'd never have to do again. Uh, I, I, I love deathmatch wrestling more than anything, but I, I put that behind me three years ago. You know, I mean, Damo ref the last two deathmatches I did at NAW, you know. Um, and in the time I was away, he, he, he grew from a rookie into an actual wrestler and has tried to stake his claim and then has taken offense to me coming back. And now, here we go. I, I have to put my body and my mind to a place that, you know, I told myself I didn't want it to go again. Hardcore wrestling was what made me fall in love with Australian wrestling. So when I came in in 2001 and, and found PCW, it, it was the, the renaissance of hardcore wrestling in this country. I mean, there's guys like Chucky Chaos and Ricky Diamond in the late 90s, and Cobra who started it, Lobo, Mad Dog, Cremator, Rave, Cracker Jack. Took it to a whole new level. Like, I, I remember the first show I, I went to and seeing Armageddon Powerbomb Lobo through a flaming table. I was front row at the Carnage Deathmatch in 2002. You know, I've still got the piece of barbed wire from the Lobo Mad Dog barbed wire match that they cut up and gave to the crowd after the show. And guys like Mad Dog and Lobo, you know, the, the age gap between us isn't massive, but regardless of, they, they, they become your idols. And then, like, the opportunity comes to be able to wrestle these guys, and, and they become your peers, and, you know, I consider them friends now. I seen him when he was still coming to shows. Uh, he would have been at my first death match, which I think was 2002 with Lobo, barbed wire ropes match. He was front row and I'd known him from PCW training school and that sort of stuff. And I'd seen him go from that to turn into a, you know, a proper mature wrestler, someone that, that knew the business and had trained well and worked hard to get to where he was. I seen him go from that to become deathmatch fighter and me and him maybe had two or three death matches before thumbtacks and many many barbed wire matches so i've wrestled joel once and that was in tasmania about four or five years ago and <laughs> he was meant to they were told you know joel you've got to lose and he's like fine and i said no no, no joel can win and he's like what and he's just looking at me all weird and i went yeah man you win you win but but why just just do it the match was great, I had a lot of fun. And at the end of the day, as Joel's pinning me, he's like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I'm like, mate, just shut up and pin me. End of the story is he pinned me. We went out drinking out, that was really, really good night. So one and only time I've wrestled him, and if that was it, I'm pretty happy with that. Finish on top. I didn't know how I'd feel going into tonight until I got to this morning. I went. I, I was super pumped up and I was going to be super focused, headphones in, head down all day and just trying to concentrate and get myself in the mindset that I don't think it's really going to hit me until I see them start to pull out the weapons and like lay down the platformers in the blocks in the ring and pull out the light tubes and put them in the corner. So at the moment I, I don't know, I don't know how I should be feeling. I've been very playful, very jokey, almost kind of distracting myself, you know, having fun, joking around, talking to friends all morning. I don't think I'm trying to distance myself, I just think I'm trying to save all of like the mental prep and the mental stress for the last minute.
I think it's a different type of thing when it comes to a death match when it's your friend involved. Like we all know that it's safe and it's you know, planned and all that sort of thing. But seeing someone I've known for as long as I've known Joel doing ridiculous things to his body for an audience is a testament to him as a performer and as a person. Like I know what he's capable of. Like I, I no, never forget it. He did a match where we said to each other, okay, so what are we doing tonight? Told each other what we're doing. I said, any stupid bumps? And he goes, no, 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 no stupid bumps tonight. Fast forward to the match he had and he fell off a cage through four tables. And that, <laughs> seeing him after the show, covered in blood, I'm in my suit and said to him, I thought we said no stupid bumps. And he goes, ah, it's fine. And you know, that's the kind of person Joel is. He, he sees that not as a problem or a, a bad thing. Like it is a bad thing what's gonna happen tonight, but I think he, he sees it as an emphasis on him as a performer. And you know, it, it's, it's interesting because he's got so much to give this business, not just in the ring, doing all that sort of stuff. It's what he does behind the scenes, mentoring guys, helping come up with characters and stories and all this sort of thing. He's got all that and yet is, is going to do some ridiculous things tonight and I'm gonna be watching from backstage just making sure that, you know, he does, he puts on a good show but also stays safe. And that's my biggest concern tonight, that an accident happens. I don't know how to get more prepared than I already am. And that scares me because I don't know how ready Damo is. I hope he's shitting himself too. I didn't think that it was going to be this intense, this hateful, spiteful, and this jaded. I mean, I, I came back because this is the thing I've, I, I love more than anything to do in my life, and now I, I, I have the opportunity to do it again. I've recovered from the injury, and I'm able to do it again, and then Damien Rivers wants to, to screw it all up for me. Thank you. 